In today's video, check out how our Japanese honeybees defend themselves against a hornet attack. The yellow hornet is a well-known natural enemy of the Japanese honeybee, which attacks our colonies during the summer. Watch as we capture the moment when Japanese honeybees use their special technique to fight off a yellow hornet. As the bees join together in a team effort to fight off an enemy twice their size. It is now September and yellow hornets have started showing up at the hive. Except for the honeybees that forage for nectar, we usually don't see many bees outside the hive. But when the yellow hornets are present, hundreds of bees come out. To ward off the hornets, the bees shake their bodies in unison. This defense mechanism is called shimmering. The yellow hornet managed to snatch a lone bee at the top of the net. The hornets chew up the innards of the honeybees and bring it back to the nest to feed their larvae. The hornets approach the hive non-stop. At first, it looked like a bee had been captured. But after viewing the footage slowed down, the bee had managed to escape. The yellow hornets are flying around the hive looking for prey. Suddenly, a honeybee latched onto the hornet. However, the hornet escaped in the nick of time. The bees are excitedly flying around, but why? Let's view the footage slowed down. First, a yellow hornet caught a honeybee. Then another bee, which was right above, latched on to the hornet. Perhaps she was trying to save the captured bee? And another bee joins them from above. As the hornet furiously flapped its wings to escape, the bees fiercely cling to it. One bee holds on desperately, its legs caught in ivy entangled in the white netting. And then more bees fly in to join in the fight. Now back to real time. The hornet tries to escape, but in just what seems to be a matter of moments, it is quickly covered in dozens of bees forming a ball around it. Let's take a look at the slowed down footage to see what happened. It's hard to see on the screen, but the hornet caught a honeybee behind a net. Then it flies and hits the stand of the beehive before falling to the ground. The hornet seems to have lost hold of the bee it caught when it hit the stand. It flies up, looking for an exit as it bumps into the rope. The hornet desperately tries to escape from the net but several bees are clenching its legs, preventing it from flying. Then, all the surrounding bees join in.
As the ball of bees grows bigger, the hornet becomes less visible. In real time, it has been only three seconds from the time the first bee grabbed the hornet. This mass of bees is called a bee ball and referred to as balling. About 40% of yellow hornets die from balling after 10 minutes, and in the remaining cases, they die soon after. What causes yellow hornets to die from balling? When we think of bees, we think of their venomous stinger, but they do not sting the hornet to death. Also, the hornet does not die from being suffocated by many bees. The real cause of death is the high temperature created by balling. The temperature inside the bee ball reaches 46 degrees after 5 minutes and is maintained for 10 minutes. This is fatal to hornets. Here is a video showing the temperature inside a deadly ball of bees from another swarm. The temperature reached 46 degrees Celsius about 5 minutes after balling. Japanese honeybees can withstand up to 49 degrees Celsius. They use the heat to defeat an enemy twice their size. This is why the ball of bees that Japanese honeybees create to defeat hornets is referred to as a hot defensive bee ball. As mentioned earlier, the hornet does not die from suffocation, but this is only partly true. The hornet does not die just due to the high temperature of 46 degrees Celsius. The CO2 concentration inside the bee ball is about 4%, which is about 100 times higher than in the atmosphere. The humidity is also high, over 90%. The high CO2 concentration and humidity can kill hornets even at temperatures a few degrees lower than in the air. Less than five minutes later, another yellow hornet appears. Yellow hornets hunt alone, one after another. The bees on the net surrounding the bee ball display the shimmering defense mechanism. It has been more than 10 minutes and the number of bees has not decreased the hornet inside is most likely dead. It has been 15 minutes since the bee ball was formed. Although the yellow hornet is surely dead by now, there is no sign of the bees stopping. Let's replay the formation of the bee ball to see how it changes. When observing the formation of the bee ball, it can last 30 minutes to an hour, sometimes longer. After 15 minutes, the hornet in the bee ball is most likely dead, so why don't the bees stop falling? When a dead hornet is placed in front of a beehive, sometimes the bees are not interested and sometimes they form a bee ball. The reaction depends on whether the bees are in an excited state or not. Our theory is that the duration of the bee ball has nothing to do with the hornet being alive or not, but whether or not the bees are in an excited state. It has been 30 minutes since the bee ball was formed. The bee ball has gradually shrunk and is now about half the size. The yellow hornet inside has been long dead. The hornet's wings are protruding out of the bee ball. It has been 40 minutes since the bee ball was formed. It is much smaller, just the size of the spacing of the net. But it looks like there are still about 50 bees. Oh, <laughs> my
Still no sign of the yellow hornet yet. After 70 minutes, the hornet is visible. It is clearly dead with its stinger sticking out. The yellow hornet is already dead, but the remaining bees are biting relentlessly at the antennae, legs, and wings. Although the Japanese honeybee can withstand temperatures up to 49 degrees, does being exposed to an extreme temperature of 46 degrees have any negative effect? Studies have been done and papers published on this question. The bees that participate in forming a bee ball have a shortened lifespan. For this reason, young bees with a longer lifespan do not participate. Once they participate and their lifespan is shortened, they will actively participate in any future bee balling. There were several dead hornets lying around this colony that had died from bee balling. There were bees that flew in from a distance and participated in the heat balling formation. They most likely had participated in previous bee balling formations. Once a bee has participated in bee balling, not only is it exposed to higher temperatures, but the bee will enter the more dangerous center of the bee ball where they can be bitten to death by the hornet. Bee balling is a technique that can take down a hornet, but it can also cost the bee its life. But thanks to this special defense mechanism, tens of thousands of bees in a colony can be saved. Bees will sacrifice their own lives for the good of the colony, and the remaining individuals with shortened lifespans are thoroughly trained to take on any future hornet attacks. The yellow hornets, on the other hand, incessantly approach the colonies of Japanese honeybees despite the risk. This may be because there are tens of thousands of bees in a colony and hornets are very efficient hunters. Their hungry larvae are waiting back at the yellow hornet nest. The larvae are the future workers and the next generation of queens. They come to catch the bees to feed their young, even if it is dangerous. Some hornets are more aggressive, actively targeting lone bees towards the top of the hive, while other hornets are more passive and take a less risky approach, targeting returning bees instead. It can take 20 minutes or more for a passive hornet to capture a bee, if they capture one at all. More aggressive hornets may catch a bee in just a few minutes, but there is a risk of being surrounded by a deadly bee ball. It may depend on how good of a hunter the hornet is, but yellow hornets also put their colony first and act rationally. The older a hornet becomes, the more risks they may take and can be highly successful at hunting. Thank you for watching and learning about one way our native Japanese honeybees protect themselves against one of their natural enemies, the yellow hornet. The formation of a bee ball enables the honeybees to take down a predator twice their size. If you'd like to learn more about our native bee, make sure to check out our Instagram, where we post daily, and our website. Thank you for watching to the end and see you next time.